art. Now, there are a lot of men that are really gifted painters that go plain air and go out into the landscape and paint. And that is very admi admirable to see this in Canada as evolving uh, from the group of seven. But I also want to again talk about Emily Carr. Emily Carr has been uh, my influence uh, since I was a young person interested in art and this brought me um, in amongst and other reasons to the West to paint and I feel it's such a privilege and such a gift to be able to paint in Western Canada and one thing is that the men are be able to express the ruggedness of the landscape and also there is a femininity to mother nature and so much beauty uh, that is a result of these energies uh, together as the first nations say it's mother earth father sky and yeah so uh, two years ago and I've been back since to Vancouver Island. I went on a painting journey for a few weeks. And um, part of my journey, which was an unexpected turn, was to uh, go to Haida Gwaii. And yeah, I spent five days up in the northern interior. And I have this painting I'm going to show you that is uh, influenced. So I have this in the garden here. It's hard to get a really good angle here. Oop. But yeah, you can, oops, you can get that. And yeah, essentially it's, um, I think what Carr was doing is she not only emboldened her connection to, in a natural sense, to the other world, which she interprets as God, and also that light and that energy that emulates beyond this dimension. And I think for millions of years it has always existed on this land, um, and the First Nations have always honored that. So that's what we do is we honor. Um, I'm, I'm paying homage to Emily Carr and you know a select number of paintings that my experience here out in Western Canada painting and I feel very privileged to have a number of people that have supported this journey for me to be able to go to Vancouver Island and to paint and to spend some time there and really take in the atmosphere um, more so of nature. So yes, it's one thing to access nature here and see some of the moss covered trees and the old growth forest, which is very important. Um, but at the same time to Haida Gwaii offers a special gift, like it's a plush carpet of so much moss and overgrowth on the trees there. And it's very beautiful. So, and I just wanted to give you a studio perspective of my work before it goes up into a gallery or into a private sale. Okay, keep painting and keep enjoying and collecting art. Bye for- mm -hmm. 